assistance of Space Station Commander Oleg Kononenko, Christina Cook of NASA. The first they were ready to make history. American astronaut Christina Cook being welcomed on board by her crewmate Anne McLean, seen here in the middle, for the first ever all-female spacewalk. One hour, three minutes into today's spacewalk, Anne McLean uh, making her way. It was a moment NASA had proudly trailed earlier this week when McLean first ventured out to work on the power system alongside a male colleague. But then came a snag, the wrong kind of spacesuit. In a statement, NASA said, McLean learned during her first spacewalk that a medium-sized, hard upper torso, essentially the shirt of the spacesuit, fits her best because only one medium-sized torso can be made ready by Friday, March the 29th, Cook will wear it. Unbelievable as it sounds, after four decades of women in space, they didn't have two spacesuits small enough, so subbed in a man. Not that packing for the cosmos is easy. Suits that work on the ground don't always fit in space, where the effects of microgravity mean astronauts often lose weight and muscle mass while gaining height as the spine stretches out. And McLean tweeting that she's grown two inches since arriving at the space station. And with NASA's spacesuits now 40 years old, experts aren't surprised the changes couldn't be made on time. Spacesuits are incredibly expensive, costing tens of millions of dollars each. Um, and so there's only a limited supply. And what happens is those supplies have to be checked. Just like you check a car before you went on a long journey, you have to be sure that that equipment's going to work. After all, these spacesuits are what protects an astronaut from that horrible, hostile environment of space. We have liftoff of Let's Nick go. Hay, Christina Cook, and Alexei Ochi. NASA has been now moving towards equality. This mission's astronauts coming from the class of 2013, which had an even number of men and women. For McLean and Cook, it was never about making one giant leap for womankind, but a wardrobe misstep has cost them the chance to step into the stars without a man by their side. Rachel Younger, News at 10.